Zenless Zone Zero. Wow, for a Mahoyo game, that is actually a lot of freaking style. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace, and today we've got a Zenless Zone Zero video. Uh, this is bomb pretty much dropped out of nowhere, although they did kind of announce it. And so in this video, I kind of wanted to just go through everything we know about this new game from Hoyoverse, aka Mahoyo. And so first I'll cover like kind of the news that we have, and then why don't we do a quick react to their trailer. It's actually, it's actually really freaking cool. And so to kick things off, we have this really freaking stylish homepage for Zenless Zone Zero. Like, I don't know about you guys, but Genshin, Honkai, they've all been really moody, they've all been really angst, or they're just really like not outside of their comfort zone. And so my guys, as you can hear from the site BGM, we have a very, very stylish, funky, full of attitude kind of vibe. Very, very excited to see where this one is going because generally, like I said, Mahoyo plays are really, really freaking safe. However, unfortunately, I am going to turn that down so we can keep focusing and move on. So as you can see, these character designs, they are they are very, very different to any characters that we've seen from Mahoyo, like those Mei faces or the Kiana faces, not here. And so moving through the website, we have our main three characters. This one in the front seems to be our poster child, very much like the Kiana for Hong Kai Impact 3, as well as the Paimon for Genshin Impact. At this point though, there doesn't seem to be any like character introductions or summaries for these characters, so let's keep moving. Number 3, down here, news and info, we see tuning test, sign up, event notes, and FAQ. I'm going to click into that and you're going to see this is essentially a CBT. And so my guys, if you do want to sign up, we need to hop back over to the official Zenless Zone Zero page, which is this one over here, and there is this button which is jiggling. Click on that, log it into your Hoyoverse account, and you should be able to see the survey. And so if you guys have been playing Mihoyo games for a while, this should be very, very familiar to you. Just go through this and at the end, you'll hopefully get a confirmation and you'll be in the running. And so my guys, this is the end screen. I just went ahead and did it myself because I realized I hadn't done it yet. And then after entering my email for that last step, we have a sign up is successful. All right, that's pretty sick. Let's move on. And so as for number four, game features live dual identities to opposing personas. I think this is really trying to paint the picture as to what exactly the world building is going to be like. I'll just quickly flick through these ones, but it looks like, you know, we've got a real life kind of scenario and then potentially like a mobile thing. Maybe we go into the digital world, something like that. And so it looks like we'll be taking on commissions and traversing between hollows. Now, this is very, very important because one other piece of news that was announced is related to this. Explore hollows with your squad fighting through changing labyrinth. Super, super important. If you guys like kind of already understand what that means, then get excited. Otherwise, everything else is kind kind of pretty generic. So this is like the name of the city, et cetera, et cetera. And so lastly for the website, we have this teaser over here. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it's essentially like a TV that has static and it's a little bit spooky. It's a little bit creepy. You can play with some of the controls and weird things happen. Oh yeah. All right, and so with all of that being said, I do want to address this Explore Hollows with your squad fighting through changing labyrinths. I'm gonna come over to this article over here by Jematsu. And so as you can see, urban fantasy action RPG, I think that actually really sums up this style very, very well. But what I do want to draw your attention to is this guy down here, roguelike gameplay. And so if you guys are not familiar with like roguelike gameplay, it's pretty much like procedurally generated maps or like you kind of have a choice. How exactly it is roguelike, I don't think they've actually revealed yet. I'm not sure there is any more information anywhere. But with that said, I think that's pretty much all of the information about Zenless Zone Zero for now. Let's move on to the trailer because it's actually pretty freaking hype. All right, let's freaking hit it. Hoyoverse, another freaking game. New visit detected. Okay, that's a freaking bunny thing. Oh my lord. I feel like I've seen more thighs than I've seen in Genshin Impact. Was that a furry? Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I love the vibe. It's it's certainly not what Mihoyo normally does. Oh yeah. It is so like street punky. So urban, oh, cat girls. Oh my lord, I think there's yeah, like I said, there's more boobs in this trailer than all of Genshin Impact. Holy moly! A cat girl? A demon girl? We got a- Oh, we got some furries. Let's freaking go. We got, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. My guys, sorry about that interruption. I just noticed that there was Japanese there. Let's keep going with the English version. A companion holo has suddenly appeared on the 14th street. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, yo, whoa, whoa, what? It's PGR? 
We're going full Punishing Grey Raven. Oh, wait, we got guns as well. Oh, wait, I guess PGR does have guns. Oh, my. Dude. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm freaking talking about. I don't know why that was so funny. It's like, you know, you see those cats doing the wiggle butt thing. It, it, it's kind of like what she was doing. Um, that is cool. That is cool. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of different factions. That's that's what it feels like. Oh, there's a, there's a freaking bear. It's just like a straight up a bear. It's, it's not even a furry. It's a bear. <laughs> okay. Maybe this is like a second group or something. Mm, oh my god, I love it when they don the masks, man. When they put on the masks, like the Vizards from Bleach. That's what I'm talking about, man. What gets me up. I've got a, a maid character with a chainsaw. I feel like I've seen this uh, a couple too many times. However... What is this setting, though? Is it like some Arknights level shit? Ah, back to the TV. All right. Hey, wait a second. I just realized we haven't seen these two characters. We've got two MCs again. Honestly, hyped. Like seriously, just scrolling through this one over here, we've got a whole bunch of different characters. We've got the cat girls, we've got a freaking bear, we've got uh, a panda girl, we've got cat ears over there, and an oni over there. This is outside of Mahoyo's usual character designs. This really seems like it's going to be a different game from what we have seen so far from Mahoyo or Hoyoverse. And what I did want to mention is that, like I said before, we've probably seen more boobs in this game than all of Genshin Impact. I do want to say, I think this game is rated at R16+. Plus. Sorry, not R16+, plus, like just... 16 plus. And so for you guys who are looking for something a little bit spicy, maybe this will have it. Maybe it won't, but man, <laughs> man I just freaking love that cat wiggle. Yeah, I just got to say that this is quite a different take on what they have normally showed us. All right. And so with that being said, I think that's all of the news that I have to share with you guys. We had the rogue like, we have the tuning test, aka the CBT. And we also had a pretty cool trailer, which showcased a PGR like system, just like action combat, which is really nice. And so my guys, that is going to bring us to the end of the video. I don't think I do have anything else to share. It's time to pass on the question to you. How do you feel about everything that you've seen so far? Like all of this urban kind of vibes, pretty banging music from this site over here as well as the trailer itself. Let me know down in the comments about how you're feeling about this game and if you guys do end up leaving something, I would really appreciate that. So thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like, subscribing to the channel and turning on that notification bell. But otherwise, my guys, as this little mechanical bunny looking thing once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.